How's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's gonna be a video. I'm gonna do a Sunday double feature review here on some Italian horror. I watched a couple films today and I'll be going over them for you guys. So um just want to let you guys know I um I'm trying to get some videos together and watch some films. I hadn't had the time. So today I got some in and uh ready to review. I'm also doing a a hundred eighties marathon on my Instagram if you guys want to check that out. I'm watching trying to get to a hundred eighties uh horror films, and these two were included. But I decided to do a separate review for these two because they were both first time watches from me for me and there are also some uh italian horror films which i enjoy so i wanted to talk about these a little bit so everyone sit back relax let's get this going we'll start with the first film i watched here and uh both these films are from lumberto bava man one of my uh, favorite italian directors son of mario bava so let's start off with the first film here we got uh demons 3 the org this is from 1989 like i said it's directed by lumberto bava he needs no introduction. He did film, directed films such as the Demons, Demons films, uh, Devil's Fish. This cast includes Paolo Malco. He came out on House by the Cemetery and New York Ripper, two, of Fulci, two Fulci films. This also stars Virginia Bryant. She came out on The Barbarians and Demons too. So that's a pretty good cast in this film. Let's get into this film. Um, this is basically about, I believe it's a sequel to Demons. Of course, it's Demons 3. So it's a later sequel to those films. Uh, this, this starts off with a, you got Cheryl played by Virginia Bryant. She's a little girl and she's having these nightmarish uh, episodes. She sees this org in their basement of a big like castle she lived, lived in as a kid. And she doesn't know if this is a dream sequence or it's actually happening. How she finds out that her teddy bear went missing and various other unusual situations happening. So... She she sees this uh this kind of like creature this org in the basement that pretty much comes out of this cocoon and is, and is stalking her, and she she starts to question am I having nightmares going crazy, whatever she asks for her mom she's a little girl at the time, so then we fast forward to where she's an adult and now she's married to Tom who's played by Paolo Marco, and they're on they want to go on vacation to Italy, and they decide to rent a castle. For a few months and stay there and they have a son named bob it's hilarious because in these italian films for some reason the son's always named bob you know that through house of the cemetery and manhattan baby it's always bob man <laughs> it's hilarious but yeah um so they go move out to this castle to rent it and it's a very creepy castle it's very atmospheric you start to have these strange encounters again as she starts her paranoia starts to come back now that she's an adult she's also writing a horror novel and it doesn't know if it's her mind again or playing see, uh, tricks on her. She's having nightmare uh, sequences again of this org just stalking her. And then she starts to find evidence that there actually is something in the basement of this castle. And wondering if it followed her all this way. And um, she finds her teddy bear that she lost as a kid in there. And it's pretty much rotted with like maggots and worms coming out of it. It was pretty cool. And... Uh, yeah, she, uh, she pretty much questions her insanity through this and her husband as well. They start to uh, slowly realize that there is something actually in this castle, some kind of creature. So they're pretty much trying to survive and get out of there. That's pretty much how I could get into the film without giving spoilers. Uh, let me talk about the film a little bit. It's definitely got that awkward Italian charm to it. Um, it's not the best I've seen. I'd, I'd actually put demons one and two ahead of this one for sure those are classics but I, I thought it was a solid uh sequel it is slow so if you guys can get through like the 30 minutes 40 minutes of it it's very slow it's just building up but it does it does pick up towards the end um i noticed the kills were a little tame i questioned that but i actually looked it up it's all it's a television movie so i understand they couldn't couldn't go all out on that on the italian kills and gore so that it's brought a little more tame because of that, but <clears throat> I do enjoy some of these uh, Italian TV movies. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's very slow. It's atmospheric. You got a nice castle setting. I did like the look of the the creature, the org. He looked pretty cool too. And yeah, it's bit, it's based on story a lot. You do have a, and it's it, like I said, it's kind of awkward. Some of the story, it, 
you really don't know if it's in a dream sequence or what's happening but then you do it's just one of those bizarre italian horror films but yeah that's it's pretty much what i gotta say about demons 3 the org um like i said i can't recommend this to everyone you gotta be into like a if you could take the slow burn and get to it then you'll you'll enjoy this film it is slower than other italian horror films but yeah overall i did enjoy it um and I thought thought it was fun. I'm gonna give it like a 3.5 out of five, and I would rewatch this film again. That's Demons Three: The Org. And next up, we got another Lomb Lombardo Baba film. I did a double feature. And I hope you guys can see that it's kind of dark there, guys. I apologize with my lighting there, but it is Dinner with a Vampire, Lombardo Baba. And this is another. This is a 1987 film. This is a uh, stars George Hilton, who I enjoy, man. He came out in several Jello films that I've seen, and uh, he came out in Strange Vice with Miss Ward, one of my favorite Jellos, and he's came out in a lot of spaghetti westerns as well. And then we have Isabel Rosanova. She came out in a lot of Italian films. I couldn't pronounce them because they are in Italian, and I probably slaughter the names. But yeah, you'll probably notice her if you watch this film. This is a vampire film uh, set in the '80s. Let's get into the film. It's basically about, you got these kids, they're pretty much auditioning for a film. And you got this director named Yurik, played by George Hilton. You know, he's kind of this famous horror director everyone's trying to get a job with. So you got these these three girls and guys, they, they end up winning the role. So they have to go to this like castle and pretty much uh, film on this, start to do roles for this film. You got a dancer, a singer, an actress. And just this goofball guy that's, I guess, trying to get in the film as well. And as they end up getting to this castle, they start to wonder about this director. Yurik is very strange. You don't see him till like, nighttime. And you got this other girl, Veronica, as well. Very strange working with him. And they're wondering what's going on. So finally, in a, a night, a dinner night, they start to... They finally meet Yurik. He appears all of a sudden, played by George Hilton, and... He's pretty much claiming that he's Dracula and they're laughing that he's a he's a vampire and they're laughing and uh they don't believe it and then he he pretty much tells them he wants to die he doesn't want to live with this curse anymore so they have the the night to kill him if not he's going to kill them so they pretty much as it starts off as a joke but then they start to realize it is serious this guy is really a vampire and he's out to kill him so you got this them running around this castle trying to survive from him and him appearing in these real bizarre uh scenes he just appears out of nowhere and it's just real odd to me and he says these real odd narratives which are funny but yeah this is this is mixed with horror and comedy guys so if you guys uh well back to the story pretty much it's them to fight to survive to get out of this castle they're trapped in and they pretty much got to kill this vampire and his goons he has a few goons in here as well am i saying goons guys i apologize ghouls <laughs> ghouls and and they they're flesh eating as well, and they're in the bottom. They're in this basement, trapped in cages. They pretty much got to survive these these uh, creatures of the night and get out of there while they're trapped. They either got to kill him pretty much, or he's gonna kill them. So uh, it takes that tone, that survival moment throughout this castle. Um, that's the all I could get into as well without giving spoilers. Like I said, this is a horror comedy. This is not serious film. It does have some creepy moments, but if you guys uh aren't fans of comedy you're not going to enjoy this film because it's not you can't go into this film expecting it to be a serious vampire film because it's not it's going to have its comedy moments and goofiness of italian horror mixed with 80s and, but yeah it's a lot of fun i really enjoyed this one um i could see me uh re-watching this as well i do recommend it like i said if you if you're a fan of horror comedy if not i can't recommend it to you but i'm going to give this one I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's not for everyone. It is goofy, like I said, but I enjoyed it. Sometimes it could get out of hand with the goofiness, but overall, solid film. I would watch this one again. That's 1987's Dinner with a Vampire. And these ratings are my opinions, guys. You guys might think this film's complete trash, but <laughs> this is just what I, what I thought of it. But no, they're actually a lot of fun, these films. They have that Baba charm to them. So those are my two reviews. That's for 1987's Dinner with a Vampire and also uh, 
1989's Demons 3, The Horde. So, yeah, I, these films were, were a lot of fun, man. And also the score, I gotta say, for The Org, Demons 3, The Org was fantastic. Had a nice Italian score to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Take care. Have a great weekend. Or actually the end of the weekend. This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Keep it horror. Peace. that you believe these stories that you live them in your mind as though they were real but for me they are real the house is bathed in the pale light of the moon the cool night air brings the intoxicating scent of orchids to the ogre to have you all here with me tonight and i hope you realize what a marvelous opportunity is being offered to you his teeth what's happening to his teeth those vampire teeth must be phony i think it would be better to talk after the meal don't you please not easy yourself.
be fooled by four kids. On the contrary. I've never had so much fun in my whole life. Those kids are really working hard. Come on. Where's your brain? I'm sure I'll make you into a horrible monster like... Oh, for Christ's sake, forget it. You're full of...